This is the retirement mentality. This is a place where I wanna change your mentality about retirement. And to do that, we have to talk about a lot of different topics. And today I'm gonna to tell you the one reason why you're average, why you're mediocre, why you're broke, why you're unsuccessful, whatever it is, fill in the blank with what you think your problem is in life, why you're lacking, why you're not reaching your full potential. I'm gonna tell you why. And not only am I gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. So stay to the end of the video. We'll figure it all out. Cue the awesome intro so your mind can just contemplate what's about to happen. Okay, I'm not gonna bury the lead. I'm gonna give it to you straight right from the beginning. Hopefully you'll stay to the end for the rest of my awesome interpretation of what's going on here in your life. It's because you've accepted it. That's right, it's because you've accepted it, whether you wanna be skinnier, you wanna have more money, you wanna be more successful, whatever the case is, you've accepted it and you probably don't even know that you've accepted it. It sounds like this, I'm from a bad neighborhood. My parents were poor. I grew up without any money. I didn't go to college. I'm not white, I'm a woman. I'm not fast enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough. There's a thousand reasons why you are not, but once you accept that, that's when you can't advance past that. It's the same as letting your past dictate your future. If you're making excuses, an excuse is acceptance. When you say, I can't because I couldn't do this, I can't accomplish that because of that, that is in your past and that's what's holding you back and it has no hold on you the only you're letting it grip you you've accepted it you've invited it into your life and that's what's holding you back you want to know who cares about your past no one just you you right there you're the only one who cares about what happened to you yesterday last week last month when you were five years old no one cares Remember when you were in high school and you said, mom, I can't go to school today because I have this big zit on my face. And your mom said, yeah, you're going to school. Go put your pants on and get dressed. And then you got to school and what happened? Everyone else was more worried about the big zit on their face and they didn't even see the one on yours because everybody was so concerned about their own life. Well, it's still true to this day. People don't outgrow that. Everybody's concerned with their own shit. They don't care what shit you have going on, what shit you had going on five years ago. You went to jail. You grew up in a bad neighborhood. Your mom was an alcoholic. Your dad ran away when you were five. Who cares? Get over it. The past cannot dictate your future. Only you can. Everyone thinks their problems are the biggest problems in the world or their obstacles are so big that they can never overcome them. That's why you look at successful people or rich people and you think they're cocky. They're not cocky. They thought they had the biggest problems and the biggest obstacles too, and they overcame them. And they know that most people can't do that. They're proud of what they've accomplished. They know that 99% of the people can't do what they've done. So they may be perceived as cocky. Well, maybe some of them are cocky, but most of them are just proud. And it's a pride that comes from accomplishing things on your own without people giving it to you. It's a pride. When you have that pride, it's a pride that detracts more success, it, it attracts more successful people. It helps you keep growing. So that is the pride that you want. And on this note of success, you have to bear in mind that it's all relative. There might be people who think that I live a life that is un, unobtainable in my ivory tower here on a Caribbean island, but I feel like sometimes I'm just barely getting by. I know there's a lot of people a lot worse off than me, but it's part of leveling up. I feel like maybe, like I say, I know there's, I'm doing a lot better than a lot of people, but I feel like sometimes that I'm like on maybe the second rung of a 200 foot tall ladder. And I use the analogy of the ladder because I was recently at dinner with a friend of mine who's way more successful than me. And he was telling me a story of being at a dinner a week prior to that with a bunch of people way more successful than he is. And he told me he felt like he was on the first rung of the ladder. And I was like, damn, dude, if you're on the first rung, I'm not even on the ladder yet. So all success is relative and don't judge where you are based on my ladder. And in fact, don't get on my ladder. If you get on my ladder and you come up and you catch up with me, hey, good for you. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to kick you in the face till you get off my ladder. This thing is already shaky enough. 
I'm doing me, you do you, just get on your ladder over there. Don't even look over here at me, I'm fine. I got my own thing going on. That's just the nature of leveling up. Every time you level up, you're in a new level, man. And that's full of people that got there ahead of you. You're the new guy on the level. They're already better than you. Imagine if you were, I don't know, let's say you're, you drove uh, on the go-kart track and you're trying to level up to be a race car driver. Well, you just kicked everyone's ass on the go-kart track and it's time for you to level up. Now you're a NASCAR driver. Guess what, buddy? It's day one. Everybody out there on that track is better than you because they've been there longer than you and they're trying to get to the next level in their career too. So don't think just because you're in that level that you're equal to everybody. You still got room to grow on that level. Whatever level you're in, when you get to the next level, you're the new guy on the level and you can learn from the people around you because they're trying to get to the next level too. So don't be intimidated by it. Be glad that you're on the level with the next group of people and now shut up and listen to what they've got to say and learn from them so you can follow them up to the next level because that's where they're going and that's where you want to be too. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Key takeaway points. One, if you're not where you want to be, it's because you've accepted where you are. Two, if you're watching this video, you understand that you have room for improvement. So that's good, you're making the right steps. Three, decide to do better. If you want to be better, you want to be skinnier, you want to be faster, put in the work, do the work. Maybe you don't know where you need to go or what you need to do yet, but you're on the right track. It's just going to be hard work to get to the next level. Three, four, I don't know what number we're on, four. Be open to the possibility that you can be better. A lot of people don't even think they can do better. They're just stuck where they are. Hopefully you're not in that crowd because you're already watching this. So, you know, Forget yesterday, put that behind you. Excuses are acceptance and let's move forward and let's move up and I'll see you in the next level. See you in the next video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button down there. And if you liked this video, if you found value in it, please be sure to hit the like button down there. And if you do subscribe, ring the little bell. It'll tell you every time I put out a new video and I will put out another video just for you. Thanks for being here. Hey, did y'all know that I have a second channel called the How to Beach channel? Guess what it's about? It's about everything about the beach. We do gear reviews, we do beach tours. I take you all throughout the Caribbean, throughout Puerto Rico, throughout Florida, and when the world opens up, we'll take you to more places. But if you haven't been over to my second channel called How to Beach, if you wouldn't mind, head over there, check it out, and subscribe to that channel if you're interested in anything that has to do with the beach. Thanks, 